So I'm tired of using my current Windows. It's got too much apps that I cannot uninstall and it's got files I don't know where they came from and it's messed up. Here are the best two ways to completely clean your disk and just install a clean Windows on it. So we're gonna get started with the first way. For most of us, this is gonna work. However, if you don't have a USB stick, the second way is a little bit more complicated, but it will work if you don't have a USB stick. But if you have a USB stick, please proceed with the first way. So let's get right into it. All right, so plug in your USB stick if you have not already. If you have one, make sure to plug it in the back of the PC just so it shows up and if it does show up you're ready to go so go to the link in the description it's gonna take you to roughest and this is a program on basically extracting Windows onto your USB and it makes it super super easy all you have to do is just be patient and wait for it to do its thing so scroll down all we need is just the standard version and then once it's done downloading just open it now it's gonna ask you do you want roughest to check for updates press yes on that that's really important and then if it doesn't pop up for you just go to the settings on the bottom and just make sure to check for updates is on daily default then press close then once your usb shows up select it click the arrow right next to select click download then you can click download and wait for this to start initiating the download script now for most of us watching this video windows 11 is going to be the best version to use for gaming however if you want windows 10 you can choose windows 10 from this pop-up menu so just for an example just for this video i'm going to be doing windows 11 so i'm going to click continue i'm going to let that do its thing then the release for windows 11 there's only windows 24 h2 so then you would just do that click continue again and wait for this to do its thing and then you just choose your language and then press continue again and then make sure it's set to x64 now you can download this using a browser or just download it using the actual program i'm going to download it using a browser so i'm going to click download and it's going to start downloading the file right here and then once it's done downloading all you're going to do is click this arrow right to the right on this button click select you know click select and then you're going to find the file that you just downloaded from the browser or from roughest so for me i'm just going to look for it real quickly and choose it so once you've chosen the windows file File, which is the ISO file it's gonna look like this so just volume label it doesn't matter partition scheme make sure this is on GPT click start and then press ok this just means it's gonna delete everything on your drive and then just give you a USB stick with a Windows install on it so you can boot from BIOS into that USB stick so depending on your PC and depending on where you're plugged in the USB this can take up to 20 minutes so be patient with it it is gonna look like it's stuck on certain percentages but it's not stuck it's just still doing its thing so I'll be back once this is done extracting the files on the USB stick. All right, everyone. So once the USB is done and once the roughest is, says ready again, then you can just pretty much press close. And now what you're going to do is restart your computer and spam the key to get into BIOS or the key to get into the boot menu of your motherboard. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to find your USB stick and it should be partition one. So I'll show you guys a picture of what's going to look like for me. And I'll show you guys what I'm selecting. So right here, I'm selecting UEFI, name of my USB stick and partition one, and it's going to load into the Windows setup. Now, once it loads into the Windows setup, you would just go through that Windows setup, press next and all that stuff, accept the terms. And then the most important part is on upgrade or custom. You're going to be selecting custom. You're going to delete everything that is corresponding with the drive that you want to be wiping. So for example, if you have two drives, drive zero, you would delete everything that begins with drive zero and just leave any other drive alone once you've done that choose drive zero and allocated space this is the space that you're going to be installing windows on click on that it should be a pretty huge space it should be like 500 gigabytes 600 etc it should just be a pretty big amount you're going to click on that and then press next and it's going to install windows restart the computer and it'll just go through that just like setting up a new pc now if you don't have a usb stick this is the part where we're going to go over the weight on how to set up this whole thing using a method that doesn't require a usb stick but it is a little bit more complicated. So again, if you're on a USB stick, just follow what I said earlier and you're pretty much good to go. You can click off this video. If you don't have a USB stick and you're looking for the second method, let's get right into that right now. So the second way to basically reinstall your Windows without using a USB stick is quite simple. It's just that some certain aspects of it kind of make it complicated for certain PCs. But for most of us, we're gonna be able to use this
disk management. So just search up create in your search bar. It's going to pop up with create and format hard disk partitions. You know, open that up and let's just say, for example, this a disk zero on my PC is your SSD. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on your drive. You're going to click shrink volume. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a volume that is the same size as a Windows installation file. So for example, you would make it around seven gigabytes, which is how much I just made it. Then you press shrink just like so and let that do its thing. All right. So once it's done shrinking, you're going to right click on this unallocated space. You're going to click new simple volume, press next, press next again, next one more time. Volume label, we're going to label this don't delete me just so whenever we get to the Windows installation steps, we don't accidentally delete this fake USB. If we do that, then you have to get a whole USB stick and do this process on a USB stick and get your Windows working. So make sure you don't delete this drive whenever you get into the Windows setup. So we're going to label it this just so we remember Press next, press finish. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find the ISO file that you downloaded using Rufus or using Windows or whatever. You're going to find your Windows file and then you're going to extract it onto that drive. So, so once you have your Windows file, just like so, you're going to right click on this, click extract files and then click the three dots. You're going to scroll down and choose don't delete me as the drive, which is going to be right here. Then you're going to press OK and press OK again and then just let that do its thing. Then go to the don't delete me drive. It's going to make it into a folder sometimes if you're using 7-zip, it's going to do this. If you're not using 7-zip, it's already going to have the files already here. But if you're using 7-zip, just open this folder, highlight all of this, drag this back to don't delete me, and then you can delete this folder. And that's pretty much a fake USB that you just created. Now, if we restart the PC, we can actually see that this pops up in the boot menu. It's called UEFI OS. Now, just to make things a little bit easier, we're going to use a tool called EasyBCD just so this works on every single PC that's watching this video. So let's do that real quickly. So if you go to the second link in the description, it's going to take you to Easy bcd all you gonna do is click register and then you click download and then it's going to start downloading the exe and then once you do that open it up and go through the setup press finish and then as you guys can see it's going to say choose a language press go press ok press ok again go to add new entry and then click windows pe and then click this little icon right here right next to path and then you're going to go to the don't delete me drive sources boot.wim double click on that click the add button and as you guys can see on the bottom left it says that the image has been added to the boot menu so now if we close out of this click not now and we restart our computer we're going to see a boot menu where it gives us windows 10 or windows 11 whatever windows you have currently have as an option and then it's going to give us the fake usb right under that you're going to boot into that fake usb just by arrowing once down and then you're going to be selecting that fake usb it's going to be labeled nst when pe image just choose that press enter on it and it's going to basically just put you in a window setup and then you can just follow this whole process of going through that window setup just make sure at the end whenever you get to upgrade or custom you're choosing custom and you're deleting anything that is corresponding with your ssd that you're basically reinstalling windows on you're deleting anything that is corresponding with your ssd except the one that's labeled don't delete me aka your fake usb now once you've done that you just choose the unallocated space and then you press next on that and then you're pretty much setting up a new windows from there and you just reinstall windows without having to have a usb stick that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions on how to do this or if you have any concerns then comment down below i'll try to help some of you guys but it should be very very straightforward but anyways that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe down below share this video with others that don't know how to reinstall windows or can't reinstall windows because they don't have a usb stick share it with them and if you guys are interested in getting your pc optimized or getting your pc completely overclocked go to my website and it's going to be linked in the description i go through a whole process of optimizing your pc all the way from your windows to bios and overclocking stuff like your ram cpu and graphics card and as you guys can see here's the difference between a completely unoptimized computer and a completely optimized computer so in fortnite we gain about 300 fps in the end game benchmark so you guys can see that the difference is quite crazy and it is 100 percent worth it i'll see you guys soon